As we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, we are highlighting those making a big difference in our community. I sat down with the liaison to migrant families for Grand Haven Area Public Schools to talk about the important work that she does. Abby Teasley, welcome. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Tell me a little bit about your background. How did you get here? So I am, well, I was born in Mexico in Saltillo, Coahuila, which is the northern part of Mexico. Um, we came here um, through my dad on a work visa. He was transferred here. Um, and then my mom always worked in agriculture. Um, I was nine years old at the time. I didn't speak any English. Um, so it was a lot of unknowns for for our family here tell me a little bit more about what your role is um so i am the home liaison for migrant families in the district uh, my main role is to make sure um, if there's any barriers keeping uh, migrant students from attending to school my job is to take those barriers away whether it's transportation or they lost the birth certificate, or immunizations, or uh, making sure I take them to appointments. Whatever it is that is keeping them from attending school, uh, my job is to make sure um, I take those barriers away. Well, I know you have made a huge difference. You recently received an award from Michigan Works. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, so there was a couple people that received their award and are um, in West Michigan, and I was one of those. Um, and, you know, just kind of saying thank you for, for the things I do. But, um, like I said, it's not just me. <laughs> I couldn't do it without everyone else. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about the work that you did during the pandemic. I know that was a very challenging time for many people. It was. And especially in the school district. It was. Um, there's just a lot of things that we don't think about. Like I think of my own kids and we have access to internet and we have parents at home who, you know, we can support them with homework. Not everyone has that. So as a district, we make sure that our students had all of them that had internet, that they had meals, that they had books. Um, I physically drove every day to our migrant camps and deliver those things, whether it was food or hot spots or homework. Um, it was a very challenging time for, for everyone. So um, I wanted to make sure that every, uh, all our students were, were taken care of. And again, it, it takes a village. <laughs> it's not just me. Um, I had a lot of help and support. So, mm. yeah. As you look forward <laughs> in this job, uh, what are some of the things that you want to change or increase or, or continue to make a lasting impact with? What are the things that come to mind for you? Um, I just, you know, when it comes down to taking barriers, I want to make sure that our parents and students um, especially specific to our migrant students and our EL English learners, that they are part of our community because they are, that they get a chance to be involved in extracurriculum activities, whether it's sports or a club. Um, a big barrier is transportation. So uh, what do we do, right? And again, just having that support from the community, that's huge. Abby Teasley, thank you so much for joining us and thanks for all that you do. Thank you, I appreciate it. We will continue to highlight stories from the Hispanic community through Hispanic Heritage Month, and you'll be able to watch all those stories during a special at 7 p.m. on October 8th, right here on Wood TV 8.